According to reports, the Jets flew out to California to meet with Aaron Rodgers yesterday. Ooh, face to face. The Jets were given permission from the Packers to talk with Rodgers because, of course, he's still under contract in Green Bay. Rodgers' former offensive coordinator, Nathaniel Hackett, yep, he's now the OC for the Jets. Reportedly, he's in that group that met with Rodgers. All right, Shannon, can you see Aaron Rodgers suiting up as the Jets quarterback next season? This seems like the most logical uh, uh, destination for Aaron Rodgers. It seems like the most logical situation. It seems like a match pairing made ideal for each other. Mm-hmm. And plus, that's what that's what uh, 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 former Packer quarterbacks do. They go to the Jets, right? <laughs> Brett Favre and not Aaron Rodgers. Skip, Woody him. Johnson, the uh, CEO, owner of the Jets, has made it abundantly clear he wants a veteran quarterback. He's also made it abundantly clear, Skip, I'm willing to have make a huge financial investment yep. in getting a veteran quarterback. Mm-hmm. Team officials made it abundantly clear that in recent weeks that Zach, Zach Wilson, drafted number two overall in 2021, isn't considered a primary starting option. They believe that they are a playoff contending, serious, deep run playoff team yep. with a quarterback. Mm-hmm. Defensively, with those corners with Sauce Gardner, Quinny Williams, uh, CJ Mosley, front to back. Agreed. they really good. I hear you. You see, Garrett Wilson was offensive rookie of the year. They got some players they on that. CJ Ozama, mm-hmm. they got players on that side. Yep. Now they said, we just, the quarterback was just holding us back. Okay. I believe it's the right thing to do. I think it's the only thing to do. Uh, now, what's, what's going to be the compensation? Woody Johnson is on the, in that contingent that went, obviously, Robert Sala, head coach. Yep. Nathaniel Hackett, who he's very familiar with, who's going to be the offensive coordinator. Joe Douglas, the general manager. So all the right people are in the brigade that's heading out to try and woo Aaron Rodgers. I assume they're out here in Malibu because okay, that's where okay. Aaron has a house. Okay, well, wherever they, wherever they were, where they go, yep. hey, but, you know, I don't know how you feel about Johnson & Johnson. You know, Skip, they did have old vaccine or something. Oh. Uh-oh. Is that, oh, you is that know, be a problem? I, I, hey, it wouldn't be no problem for me mm. just because I ain't hey, 59 million. You, you got 59 million on you right now, <laughs> Mr. Johnson. So what is it going to cost? Yeah. <laughs> he has more than 59 million. Skip, I... I I don't see how the deal doesn't get done. The thing now is, I think the thing is with the Jets and Green Bay working out the compensation, the money is, gonna, the money is not going to be a problem. Yep. And the Jets feel that they're a quarterback away mm. from being a serious team. I think they'll get this done. So the Jets had to sit back last year. They're trying Zach Wilson and failing. And then they try Mike White. And it okay. flashes here and there, and then it doesn't. They even had to go to Fluco, as in Joe Flacco. <laughs> And they had to watch the rival team in the city go to the playoffs with Danny Dimes, Daniel Jones, and Daniel got his money yesterday. God bless him. So the Jets sit back and they say, you know, in the big picture, the biggest picture, we really haven't had that quarterback since Joe Namath back in the 60s, late 60s, early 70s, right? right? Yeah. Because they had Richard Todd, they had Vinny. They, uh, Boomer was there for Boomer a year or two. Uh, the, the guy that they took in eighty and eighty four. Yeah, no, 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 Skip. In eighty three with the draft with with, with yeah. Elway, Marino. Mm-hmm. They took a quarterback also high in the draft. I forget his name. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I'll think of it. Oh, uh, yeah. But th- th- they did have. I, I mentioned Chad Pennington. You you mentioned Brett Favre was for a minute and then he got hurt. Right. But, and they had Mark Sanchez, and then they had Sam Darnold. Mm-hmm. So my, my point is, it's Aaron Bleep and Rodgers. Yeah. It's uh, how many MVPs? Four? Four. Yeah, four MVPs. He's 39. Right. He makes $60 million. He's a blame-deflecting, finger-pointing diva from Green Bay who is just he, – he has really come up smaller and smaller in the postseason, but he's still Aaron Bleep and Rodgers. Right. You can sell it. You can certainly sell it against – Daniel Jones, mm-hmm. right? Yes. So I, I got no issue, and, and it would make sense for me for them to go and get him, but but to stonewall and play hardball with Green Bay because Green Bay's got no leverage because they've made it pretty clear they have telegraphed a la Jerry Jones what, the fact that, that they want to get up out from under Skip, Aaron Rodgers. You're in a relationship, and one of them says, you know, I don't care if you talk to somebody else. Yeah. I think they're ready to move on. Uh, I think when somebody takes away, hey, I heard you. I heard they was you. Oh, I'm good. That's fine, girl. Please. Yeah. Oh, I mean, whatever it is, what it is. Yep. Well, I think when they when they gave Aaron Rodgers, it's okay for you to talk to other teams. I think they made it abundantly clear. Yep. 
They're ready, they're ready to move on. Mm-hmm. Your service will no longer be required I here. I agree. I think this, yep, this is the perfect situation. And it's, it, it's funny how this, remember, they took Aaron Rodgers because they got tired of Brett Favre always contemplating retirement. They, got, they took Jordan Love because they got tired of Aaron Rodgers contemplating, and then they say, well, your play has dropped off. Yep. And then every time, you know, I don't know how much longer I want to do this. Ooh, mm-hmm. man, the sun might not shine tomorrow, so I don't know. Oh, yep. hold me. Yeah. Is it? Well, and the final irony here is that it feels like Nathaniel Hackett's mission in life is to make Aaron Rodgers laugh and keep him happy right. because he got – hired as a head coach for your Denver Broncos. And it's pretty clear to me that the, the whole point was we got, we're going to go get Aaron Rodgers. Yes. And then you didn't get Aaron Rodgers. You got Russell Wilson and it was a bad idea. It right. was a bad fit. And Nathaniel was completely overmatched yes. in over his head. He's a, he's a good guy. Son of my close friend, Paul Hackett, right. but still the Jets telegraph that they went and hired him as their, whatever it is, you know, Office I coordinator. guess quarterback coach, whatever he's supposed to right. be, but he's the, the Aaron Rodgers connection. Yes. That's what, okay. So he's part of this contingent to go sell Aaron. Final question is biggest picture question. Does Aaron really want the pressure of being a savior in New York for the Jets? I just, I just want to see when the game, when the game, when he doesn't play well and that New York media start asking the question, because, yep. You're not in Green Bay anymore. No. And they don't lob softball questions mm-hmm. because, oh, they're going to they're gonna be relentless with it. Mm-hmm. And you, Skip, they, how many, how many uh, talk shows and radio shows do you think they're in New York compared to Green Bay and yeah. Madison and look, Ash Wabanon and I, I, Appleton? I got it. Let's not belittle or disrespect the Milwaukee Green Bay media because I, I think they're pretty tough, but they're not that. The, That's a listen, the New York media isn't tough. It's just completely unfair. Right. I mean, they will rip and they will slash. <laughs> And I think sometimes I think sometimes that's their sole purpose. Yeah, we got this reputation. Yeah, we got to keep. We got to live up we to it. We got to live, live up to down it. Down to it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It feels like it's going to happen, but I am still very curious. Does Aaron really want this to happen? Because he doesn't have a no trade, but he has the the advantage of saying, "Well, I, I'll." Man, just that man retire. got fifty nine point three million. He ain't going. No, he ain't. Mm-hmm. Going to walk away. No. And guess what? He's going to be back next year to collect the other $50 million yeah. that he's due. Okay. If I'm the Jets in compensation, I don't offer him more than a third-round pick. Yeah. Seriously. We'll give you a three right. because we're taking him off your hands because you want out from him. Right. Under. You don't want him. Right. And, you, and, and he knows he's not wanted there anymore. Right. And I think the Jets know he's not worth $60 million next year. You got but, no choice. But you, you just got to do it. <laughs> you got no choice. You got to take the right. plunge. Right. Yep. At least – Skip, I'm going to shoot for the stars at least for the next two years. Yeah. I have him under contract for the next do. two years. You do. I'm going to shoot for the stars. Okay. And in that division, you you, you got a shot with Aaron. I, yes. st- I still think. I'm, I'm not completely sold on Buffalo. They're going to lose some free agents. Yes. And how healthy will Von Miller be yep. upon his return? I agree. I agree. That's going yep. to be huge. Uh, I think Poirier, Poirier mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. Uh, up. He's, he's free. Free. Yep. He's one of the top free agents yeah. to me. Yep. So that's going to be interesting. Mm-hmm. But offensively, Skip, you see, I heard they're in the running for Buffalo, for uh, Derrick Henry. Yep. Mm-hmm. Here they go. So, but I think, uh, Skip, I, the Jets don't have a choice. Mm-hmm. It's not like I have a choice in the matter, Skip. Yeah. Well, Aaron's worn green, but not that kind of green, right? Yeah. Okay. Be a playoff team okay. with Aaron Rodgers? I, I would say yes. I would, too. Yep. I would, too.